All right, latest on Pierre Polyev's GST proposal. This is a bold move. It's addressing Canada's housing crisis. And Polyev recently announced the plan eliminating the goods and services tax, or GST, on any new home sold for under a million dollars. Now, this initiative, if implemented, promises significant savings for home buyers. It also aims to stimulate the construction of new housing across the country. Now, before we get into this, I just want to remind you, if you're looking to keep an eye on the market, click the link below in the description to access your personalized home search. Okay, so getting into this, uh, there was a campaign style video released recently where Polyev st uh, stated the GST was not meant to apply to the basic necessities of food and shelter. Uh, this sentiment refle reflects a growing frustration among Canadians struggling with escalating housing prices. Uh, according to Polyev, the removal of GST on new homes could save Canadians on average uh, an average of $40,000 on an $800,000 property, making home ownership more attainable. Furthermore, he estimates that this tax could uh, tax cut, I should say, could lead to the construction of an additional 30,000 homes annually, which would be a critical boost for a country facing a significant housing shortage. Now, critics of this housing tax, uh, these policies, often voice concerns that these developers, greedy developers, may not pass on the savings to consumers. However, Polyev is confident, as am I, that market competition will ensure that the benefits are transferred to home buyers. He argues businesses will pass on those savings because if they don't, then buyers will simply buy from someone else. It's free market 101. This assertion resonates with Kevin Lee, uh, the CEO of the Canadian Home Builders Association, who supports the idea that lowering the effective price of homes will increase affordability. Uh, Lee emphasizes the urgency of this measure, noting that if people can't afford homes, builders cannot sustain their operations. And we've seen that. Housing starts have been falling off a cliff. He stated, anything that's going to lower the actual selling price of the house is going to help create more housing supply. To fund this ambitious plan, Polyev proposes cutting two federal programs, all right? The Housing Accelerator Fund, which has been a complete abysmal failure, and the Housing Infrastructure Fund. He's characterized these programs as bureaucratic obstacles rather than effective solutions. And the Housing Accelerator Fund allocates $4 billion until 2026 to incentivize home building through uh, streamlined processes, but it's been a focal point for critics of this current government. Um, Polyev claims that while Trudeau and the NDP and the Liberals build bureaucracy, I want to build homes. Now, this stance has drawn criticism from the NDP, of course. Um, Jagmeet Singh, for instance, argues that the accelerator fund is crucial in fostering uh, agreements with municipalities to facilitate new housing projects. Uh, Singh questions whether Polyev's proposal adequately addresses the uh, needs of first-time home buyers, particularly in a market that is increasingly dominated by investors uh, purchasing multiple properties. Fe uh, Federal Housing Minister uh, Sean Fraser, Trudeau's guy, highlighted the risks of uh, enriching investors at the expense of low- and middle-income families. The fear uh, is that the GST cuts may inadvertently favor those that are purchasing multiple homes, thus failing to adequately uh, support the very demographics that this plan intends to help. Uh, Sean Fraser stated, we want to be careful that we don't necessarily create a program that enriches someone that may be uh, buying their sixth or seventh home through a corporate vehicle. So wanted to weigh in on this here. Uh, I have an investor client who comes to mind, owns, I believe he's now on his 15th rental property. He's providing rental stock as far as I'm concerned. It doesn't matter if it's a first time buyer, an investor, a speculator financing new construction. We need to get shovels in the ground, full stop.
As Canadians grapple with rising housing costs, this proposal comes at a pivotal moment. The Liberal government had recently taken steps to remove GST from new uh, rental, purpose-built rental housing projects. And I was supportive at the time of this move. However, I said it, it should be a, a blanket, just axe the GST altogether, uh, apply it to all new construction. And that is what Polyev proposes here. In an evolving landscape, the Conservative plan represents a potential shift in approach focusing on direct tax relief for home buyers rather than these bureaucratic incentives. And CREA, the Canadian Real Estate Association, they welcome Polyev's announcement. Um, they indicate that these measures could enhance home ownership accessibility. And the CEO of CREA, Janice Myers, noted, and I quote, there's more to be done to bring forward effective and solution-oriented policy that will build more housing supply and uh, make it affordable and accessible for all Canadians. So, conclusion here. Pierre Polyev's pledge to eliminate GST on new homes sold for under a million dollars, in my view, it presents a potentially transformative approach to Canada's housing crisis. Um, just as I've been saying for many years now, you need to get government out of the way and just give us a break on the damn taxes. I'm Jay Cooper. Click that green icon to book a 15-minute uh, Zoom consultation with me. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.